Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 Wards and Wardens. We're going to continue straight away from the last episode. We stopped uh, whilst we were in war here. And I think we're about to have a battle. So let's go on three times speed. Uh, and we're going to see this battle. The battle of drama now. Uh, we're going to absolutely kick their asses. This might even win us to war. 94%. Okay. Ever so close. But we're going to take our men over here to reinforce the siege. Because four months and then we've taken their capital as well. How do we do this? 35 losses for over 1,000 insane stuff. Why did they even attempt that attack? Uh, maybe they were getting desperate. I don't know. But let's go back up to five times speed. We'll finish off the siege and hopefully finish off the war. While performing his duties as my spy master, Count Purview has uncovered another secret. Unfortunately, though, it's not on the Emperor, just on this fella here. We haven't won the war. 98%. Wow. Okay. I mean, uh, I, I guess we go over here and try and fight these guys. But I imagine we're going to get war score tick. There we go. It's ticked up to 100%. Let's enforce the demands. That didn't take long, did it? A minute into the episode and we already won a war. Greetings, King Joshua of Alakia. Peace be with you. You are much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So be it. All right, we can disband this. My vassal has become feudal. That's good news as well. Uh, and we have gained more territory over here somewhere. I think we gained this little chunk of land here. And Valakia is very quickly growing. Nice. All right, my grandson needs a guardian. He is focusing on intrigue. So Zenti, my son, I guess, can go ahead and educate him there. Uh, I also need to change your contract to give you more taxes. So let's organize this. Uh, and we do, in fact, have prisoners. Right. You're worth 100 gold. <laughs> Very nice. Ah, um, oh, it's gone. Oh, bloody hell. This is why I hate the UI. It's so delayed. Right. So you're worth 100 gold. We got some more men in here as well. Let's see if any of them are, are worthy fighters. In fact, no. Let's wait for the ransoming to finish. Because uh, some of them won't show up, will they? Holy order's been dismissed. That's fine. My daughter-in-law has now given birth to a son. Let's call him Stefan. May you grow to be strong and wise. So that ransom was accepted. Now we can start sending off these ones for 25 golds apiece. Yeah, we're going to have to wait for that one to go through as well. There we go. And then finally, we can ransom you off. Uh, and then all is good. Uh, would you let him go return for this offer? I mean, sure. 10 gold. Ah, okay, okay. Um, why didn't we get a chance to ransom you to initially then? No idea. No idea. So now we got three prisoners. Are any of them good fighters? You're a good marshal. You're, you're an okay fighter, actually. You got 19 prowess. So if you convert, uh, I shall recruit you to my ranks. However, you and you, I'm afraid, uh, are going to be burned at the stake. <laughs> uh, we lose some stress. We gain some dread. Uh, and all is fine in the world once more. Right. Who are we going to declare war against next? Can we declare war against the Strimon? They have a lot of allies. But we might be able to take them. What about these fellas? These fellas... That's a lot of men at arms. Where did you get all of those from? What we could also do is look at buildings. Because I think Argy's... Yeah, Argy's our new castle. We could build something here. So, do we have anything that would give us a lot of gold? I think it's the quarries. If we go max level quarries. Building construction time. Heavy infantry toughness. So what men-at-arms are stationed here? We have pikemen. I mean, we already have spearmen damage increased. I mean, if I build hill forts, though, it increases spearmen damage and toughness even more. That might be the way to go. And it increases fort level and defender advantage. So it's more defensive. I mean, our gold is somewhat okay. So I am inclined to take this. Yes. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to get the, the pikemen buffed up here. Uh, and in Targo Vista, that's where our heavy infantry is. I wonder. That's stationed men at arms damage. That's heavy infantry damage. Uh, that's skirmishers. Do we have anything else that gives armored footmen buffs? Maybe that's archers damage. That's like cavalry. That's cavalry. Okay. So this fell pastures. It's fine. It's just there to give us gold. Right. We're looking good. Uh, how's our siege equipment? It's maxed out. Our pikemen are above their maximum somehow. Uh, as are our bowmen. Should we get some more men-at-arms or should we save the gold? I'm thinking of saving the gold. Because we might need them in a future war, you see. Uh, Freys are currently in a war. 
And they are very weak, but they have a lot of allies, and I'm a little bit scared we'll have to fight their allies. So what if we go down this way? You don't really have allies. You are fighting the Byzantine Empire. <laughs> oh, I can't declare war because we don't have a Casus Belli. So, I mean, we could go out this way. Let's see, the Byzantine Empire does stretch up here. But I want to go down this way to Constantinople. That's the problem. So, I mean, we could go for Strymon. They are strong, but we are strong as well. So, Count Purvu, you have a claim on a county. However, I can seize de jour County. Where the hell is this? Up here? No. Why do you have land up there? I mean, so do I. I mean, we could also declare war on some fellas like this. The, 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 end, the, the possibilities are endless. I think it's too early for the dissolution faction. Hmm. What war declarations do I have? I do have a lot. So I have a war declaration for you for a county. That's up here. Um, let's see. Let's close that. We'll close this as well. Uh, I have a war declaration on you for forced vassalization on Salamid. Should we do that? Maybe we could go and take some of Rome? Fight the Catholics? <laughs> no, he's very strong. He's very strong. Uh, this army's green. What about you? So, you have a claim on the duchy. Why don't we do this then? 1,500 prestige. It's a lot. But we have enough manpower to, to deal with this, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Okay, do I have a rally point over here? I don't. Why don't we go ahead and move this one then? And pull it on this front. And we're going to go in here. In fact, where's your capital? Your capital's down here. Then I'm going to move this rally point over here. And we're going to raise the men over here. Let's do the men at arms first. And then we'll raise everyone else. And ah, why can't I raise a holy order down here? Is there a way to do this? I don't think there is. It's a, it's a little frustrating. Yeah, we can't change where they get raised. I mean, it is what it is. We're just going to have to deal with that. Okay, so we'll move you guys down here as well. And you can be reinforcements later in the battle. Sounds good to me. Right, 10 days left for this. Let's slow it down a tad. Greetings, King Joshua of Alaco. I have no choice but to accept your conditions for release. Farewell, then. Uh, that works for me. Right, split off new army. We need the siege equipment. You guys know the drill by now. Uh, and then we can merge this. And where's my new military engineer? There he is. There's the big fella. Uh, and you're going to fight in here. Right. In fact, we already have the enemy over here. So why don't we try and uh, attack them? So you're going to siege the capital. And you're going to go straight in for a battle. Uh, and we're going to try and crush them right away. They're probably going to escape. No, they're not. <laughs> the Battle of Kotor is already very much won by us. I stumble upon my vassal, Count Timotei, crouching beside my dog, hold fast, vigorously scratching his stomach. This dog of yours is quite the charmer, my lord. He is a good boy, isn't he? Uh, I'm glad you like him as much as I do. So how do we do in that? 71 for 600. Nice. Enemy allies have now joined the war. But we still have a very clear numbers advantage, so we're fine here. Um, my leech has won this war. Good job we didn't join them. I'm going to position you guys over here. Just so that if they come back from this side, we can defend. we got our reinforcements arriving too. Let's put them into this army. Uh, everything is under control. In fact, we could probably go up to five times speed. That's how confident I am. The first time it happened, I barely even gave it a moment's thought. But my vassal Countess Elizabeth has grown bolder. Her challenges no longer pass unnoticed among my vassals. She has tested my limits. The others are sure to follow unless I give her a taste of her own medicine. Uh, how dare you challenge your king? Yeah, let's go with that. We are under siege, by the way. Down here. Okay, let's get a diplomacy perk. We can you now use the befriend scheme um, if we really want to. Let's ignore the hunt for now. This army has to go and deal with this. Whether we make it in time, we don't know. Never mind, we've won the war. Look at that. My lord, I think that young Stanner could learn a lot if she got the opportunity to stutter under your tutelage. Count Purvis' daughter picks her nose before waving at us. <laughs> sure, I'll educate, the, I'll educate the girl. Don't worry, I'll teach her to stop picking her nose. <laughs> Let's enforce our demands. Greetings, King Joshua of Alakia. May you live in harmony and contentment. 
You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to pull an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So be it. Okay, so we can disband the men now. Our territory has uh, grown. Very much so. Titles can be created even. We can make the kingdom of Bulgaria. We probably don't want to do that. <gasps> oh, no. Succession. Independence is coming. Bulgaria. Serbia. Ah. The problem is, I'm an old man. I'm 70 years of age. Uh, an even bigger problem is, I cannot found uh, a custom empire, I don't think. I mean, I have three kingdoms. We might be able to. So that leaves only one solution. We must do a dissolution faction. Oh, no. Against my liege. We can do independence. Members of the independence faction seek independence from their liege. Or we can create a dissolution faction. Members of the dissolution factions seek to destroy the realm of their liege. All faction members become independent. Liege loses their primary title and other titles of the same tier. I think dissolution has to be the way. Can we add members? I need strong hooks. We might have some in here. Ah, damn it. Oh, we have one. Okay. If I blackmail you, I might be able to force you. I mean, I'm going to blackmail. Uh, no, we need a strong hook. Let's go down to four times speed. Holy order dismissed. Okay, so I gained a hook on you. I'm going to blackmail you. There we go. Uh, you're not a ruler, but I'm going to blackmail you anyway. Why not? Okay, so we got hooks. Now we go to the factions. It's coming sooner than I wanted. <laughs> uh, my rival, I'm going to force you to join. Can be forced to join. <laughs> we, we are stronger than him, though. I wonder if anyone else will willingly join. So, can send an ultimatum in nine months. Discontent. Okay. Why can't I just press the demands now? The target is going to be civil war. Faction leader is a player, so demands can be sent in spite of discontent and faction military power thresholds. Ah, this only applies for the AI. Ah, makes sense. Let's unpause, though, because maybe... Let's see. You're finding secrets. Let's wait for one more pop of this. And maybe we might find someone. Oh, now there's a dangerous faction against me, though. The bloody peasants. Okay. That could be a problem. And I might have to deal with that first. I've managed to sway you. How long? we got three months left on this. Once this pops, we 100% need to deal with this. Oh, my steward just died in his sleep. Okay, we need a new steward. Uh, my spy master? Sure, you're going to become my steward, and then you... Oh, no, I did this the wrong way around. Ah, crap. Now, you're going to become my steward, and then I'm going to swap you with... You? Yes, there we go. I, I, I figured it out, guys. I messed up, but I figured it out. Okay, uh, I can change your contract. Let's get some of that flowing. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, I'm not ready for this. Oh, we've only got one helper. 50 days left. We can find something. Of late, my joints have ached so there has been a certain bruising inflammation. At the very least, a gathering of waters about the mobile parts of my limbs. Oh, we're going to get gout as well. Okay, you're going to pay homage to me. Thank you for the renown and prestige. That's very much appreciated. The good news is we have gold. Uh, 30 days. I think we can award the 30, uh, wait for to wait the 30 days. Because if we get another vassal in the faction, that could be huge. So let's go ahead and do this. I don't think we can wait for the peasant faction. Uh, I don't think that's going to be enough. Right, let's go ahead and put you on disrupt schemes now. And then if we go to hooks and secrets. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. I mean, I'll blackmail him anyway. And then how long left on my peasant faction? Ten months. We can't afford to wait that long, lads. The time has come. We must stand against the Byzantine Emperor. He's got minus gold. He's in debt. Now is our chance. We must press our demands. Too long have we served under the Emperor. Valachia demands its independence. And we will prosper from this. Let's press the demands. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, things got exciting very fast, didn't they? To my evil vassal, your shameful attempt at blackmail has not succeeded. No matter how many corrupted souls you have enticed to help carry out your plan, I will not give in without a fight. I would rather die defending what is rightfully mine. Oh crap, the war it is. The war it is indeed. War declared on liege. Oh no. Oh, he just got an ally. No, it's, it's fine. Oh, do you know what I didn't think about though? 
They're... They're gone. He doesn't have any cavalry. I mean, he does, but not the, the cataphracts. Oh, wow. Okay. We might be okay. And the, the, the best thing here... I mean, we have the Holy Order as well. Let's not forget about that. So... Oh, crap. Look at this. Byzantine Empire is now at war. Um, It's winter. I didn't think about that. Let's raise all the men here. No, no, no. We need to think about this tactically. Let's... Let, let's... Uh, we're going to raise the men-at-arms here. Okay. And then we raise everyone else here. Let's keep it as normal. And then what I'm also going to do is raise the, the Holy Order as well. Let's not forget this time. And then if I really wanted to, we can afford some mercenaries. We can afford one lot of mercenaries. Should we get ourselves some cavalry, some light horsemen? I am liking that idea a lot. See, 340 horsemen. And then we still have a little bit of gold left over. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna recruit these guys. Right. And then... <laughs> okay. Uh, so this, this, and this. No, I didn't press shift clip. It's gonna be our main elite fighting army. So... Oh, you're a military engineer as well. Okay. But this is going to be our siege army. Okay, let's unpause the game. The game was already unpaused, was it? I don't know. Now we're going to split off the siege equipment. There we go. And then this army is going to be the sieging army. Uh, I should have another military engineer in the army anyway. Yeah, this fellow over here. Uh, the good news is both armies can now siege if we wanted to. Let's just check something. You have travel... Speed? No, travel safety and supply duration. Okay, so we should move at the same speed. And we're going to go straight for the capital. I want to end this fast. I think the longer this war goes on, the more at risk I am because we do have a peasant faction uh, looming. War declared on liege. So now there's another war against the emperor for the conquest of the Duchy of Crimea. Uh, I think that's the Vikings coming again as well. Right, they're leaving Constantinople. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Uh, my wife is also pregnant. That's also very nice. I'm saying very nice a lot, so you have to excuse me. My spy master has come to me with grave news, but we do not yet know who. Someone is plotting to kill my hostage, Senislav. We must stop the villain. Ah, oh, we really are on a timer, because let's not forget... There's my ally. <laughs> <laughs> he hates my guts, but uh, I forced him in here. Let's not forget. Yeah, you're going to an embark, aren't you? That we we are old. If we die, our kingdom splits uh, into Serbia, Bulgaria, uh, and whatnot. Right, you're sailing over this way. Okay. So are we just going to go straight in for the capital then? Um, it's going to take a long time. That's because we don't have enough soldiers. I don't want you to siege, though. Oh, I'm, I'm taking attrition for nothing. Let's get, let's pile our way into here. We have enough soldiers. It's going to take two years. That's a long time. I am out riding. My dog hold fast beside me when suddenly he runs off into the hills. My retinue assures me he will come back. But what if he doesn't? I will be patient. Do not worry. Oh, crap. How long can Targa Vista hold for? Probably not two years. Yeah, it's got a fort level of two. And this has a fort level of 12. We might have to go back and defend Targovista. It depends what they siege. No matter how long I wait until Hold, uh, Holdfast does not return. Just as I'm about to give up, a rider from my retinue returns with disturbing news. He swears he saw my rival Count Nikita skulking around. Oh, if he had something to do to us, I tell you. But right now, we're, we're focusing elsewhere. Okay. Um... Two years, two years. We have a military engineer, though, guys. Have faith. It's going to go faster. I've been hosting your chancellor for several weeks, and he's helped me truly see the splendor of your realm. Very nice. Demand artifact? Never. Oh, the peasants are going to rise as well, though. Oh, crap. How long? How long? Five months. I have to go back and defend this. I have to. Oh, no. Can I split off the levies, at least? Can you just keep the levies? I wonder if you'll have enough. Maybe even these guys if you need it. Do I n know how many soldiers I actually need to do this? Uh, besiege an army, 6,300. It has a garrison of 4,000. So do I need at least an army of 4,000? Can I afford to lose Targovista? 
I am I'm in target Easter. I don't think we can afford to do that. I can call allies to the war though. Oh yes, 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 yes. I forgot about this. Let's call all of our allies. <laughs> you have zero men. I, I won't call on you, don't worry. Uh I think as soon as these guys leave. What's the fastest way to get back here? Five months. Oh no. We might be screwed unless I have someone with travel speed. There we go. He has travel speed. So now it's six months? What? Travel speed plus 15. Five months. What the hell? I don't know. Um, yeah, we don't have enough soldiers now. Fudge. Of course, I should join us. What a foe shall learn to fear the men of Dom Valley. Excellent. Okay, then rather than waiting here, we need to go back. I need to deal with this until we have more allies. Yeah, it, we, we just can't do this. Oh, I know we don't have time, but we have to defend and the peasants are going to rise. To the charming Joshua, of course, I should join you in this war. Excellent stuff. Crap, I thought I had time. Two years. My counselor has died. We have a new rabbi. I think you guys call it a rabbi. Uh, are we going to make it back in time? I don't think we are. Three months left. Two months. Wow, they just had such a massive jump in siege progress. That's insane. Uh, we have had a daughter, though, and she is consecrated blood. Interesting. And you guys have decided on the name Ariel. Thank you, Neil, for the name suggestion there. Um, what am I doing? Uh, no, no, no. Click off of that. Yeah, may you go to be strong and wise. Right, now let's go ahead and pin you. There we go. <laughs> I was trying to pause it ahead of time, but it wouldn't let me. I don't think we're making it back, guys. Yeah, how many... It's going to take 40 days. Wow. They got so bloody lucky. If they capture me here. Oh, that's so stupid. If they capture me here. To the loathsome King Joshua. Oh, and now we have the bloody increased autonomy. Pop control growth. I can't afford 10 years. Yeah, I can't afford it. We can't afford to fight the peasants right now. I need to do with the emperor. Please don't capture me in the siege. He captured me in the siege. Wow. So I had to come back anyway. There was nothing I could do. And he's there's no way. I mean, I can try and escape. Ah. I didn't escape and I got wounded. No. No. Oh, fudge. Oh, this is bloody terrible. We've lost the war. So what happens on surrender? Title revocation? No way. Oh, I mean, there's nothing I can do. It was doomed from the start. I can offer peace. No, that just does this. Uh, there's no way he's going to accept my ransom, is there? Uh, ransom yourself. Yeah, he's never going to accept. Never going to accept because I'm a war target. We've lost the war. What was I meant to do? I am no longer held by Emperor Drislav against my will and I'm free to return home or wherever else I wish. I thought I would never see my lands again. Oh, and now he's recaptured me. Game over? He took all my titles? What? No. Joshua Vinterlasti has lost all of his titles and become landers for over a century. You have followed the dynasty of Vinterlasti and it has turned into a noteworthy dynasty. No. What? Oh, no way. Oh, this is terrible. I had to try it, otherwise I, we would have split. Oh, he's so lucky. He's so lucky. Oh, you asshole. So do we have any Vinterlasties left alive who are landed? I mean, we do. Surely, Vintelasti. It would help if I could spell it. Vintelasti. Dynasty. Uh, none? No, no, no. Surely, if we go all... Okay, we do have Vintelasti still. Okay. Um, quite a few, in fact. Oh, that's terrible news. 
I mean, we could continue as one of these, but uh, I feel like we got a game over. I don't want to continue after a game over. That fine's kind of cheaty. I think we had a fun story nonetheless, though. What I'm going to do, um, if you want to play carry on this save yourself, I'm going to upload the save to my Discord server. So if you join that, you can go ahead and download this and continue. But I think... Um, oh, that bloody sucks. That's what I think, yeah. I think what we're going to do is, I know it sucks that we ended this. We never got to take the Byzantine Empire. We never got to take the Holy Lands. But the new DLC release is on Sunday. So I think we're going to start a new playthrough in the Persia area with the new DLC. It sucks that it ended this way, but we had a cool story anyway. And you guys know that I don't play to play metal. I don't play to min-max or even win. I play to have fun. And this story has been a lot of fun. Um, I know I got a lot of hate earlier on when we converted to Koreaism, but converting to the Jewish faith, the challenges we faced, I had a lot of fun. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the series as well. Should we go ahead and look at our dynasty tree? 94 living members. Ah, we had so many children. Look at that. <laughs> the dynasty tree is so wide. What if I go all the way back? So uh, Count Vintula, there we go. Um, it, oh my days, if we go ahead and do this, yeah, the, the tree is huge. Ah, we were on our way to greatness. He captured me, revoked my titles, game over. I'm in prison. Joshua the Stallion, 71 years of age. He's, he's probably gonna die soon. And that's the way it is. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this series. I had fun even though it did end in a, a game over. But thank you for watching as always. I'm not quite sure what will be uploaded tomorrow. Because this video is going to go live on Thursday. And the DLC doesn't release on sun until Sunday. So I probably won't record until Monday. So maybe new DLC Monday. Maybe I'll do some Hearts of Iron 4 stuff. We'll see. But thank you for watching. I appreciate the support on this series. And I'll see you guys next time.